Hey guys, and welcome back to Eden's Angora. My name is Alyssa, and I'm so excited to have you with me while we turn an ugly corner of my barn into a beautiful and safe play area for my rabbits. This is a project that I did a couple weeks ago, and I have not had a single problem with it. It's so wonderful. So here's the before. Um, it was just an old wood storage area. You know, we weren't doing much with it. And I don't know why it didn't dawn on me before that I could turn this into a play area for the rabbits. And now I just can't wait to get the whole back of the barn cleared out and turn the other corner into a play area as well. So I'm sweeping it out and getting all of the old hay out of there. This used to be our hay storage area, but now it's delivered so we don't have to use this section of the barn for that. And it's really handy since I moved the rabbits into the barn, they're right next to this new play area. So it just made sense. I've been loving the weather protection that the rabbits have in the barn. I worry about them so much less. And it's a lot more pleasant to take care of them in a sheltered area too. I understand not everyone has this. So hopefully you can apply the same principles in an outdoor pl play area as well. This is actually the first year that we have access to this barn because my parents own the neighboring property and we now have use of their old barn and I'm just ecstatic about it. But I had my rabbits in play areas outdoors before that, sometimes under sappy pine trees and I learned from that. That's a no-go. Um, and also it was hard to find shade for them and just consistently be able to let them out to play. That's always been one of the most important things to me is letting my rabbits out to play. I don't want them to live their life in a cage. And it's hard with fiber rabbits because they do have to be kept extremely clean. So you'll see me setting up rubber flooring and I'll sweep that out regularly to make sure their wool doesn't have any debris getting into it. That's a problem that I had when I was letting them outside in the dirt, digging and that kind of stuff. And they're rabbits. You know, at the end of the day, they want to play like rabbits, but they don't understand um, their lot in life as an angora. And we try to meet them somewhere in the middle. I feel like it's really important to take care of our fiber, but also to take care of our rabbits' mental needs as well. So here it is. They cannot dig underneath the X pen to get out and they have a nice light to look at because this is in the back of the barn. Now we just have to add some toys. I love adding carrots and treats um, when I can. I try not to overfeed those, but sunflower seeds are great too so that they can just forage around for them. And I love these tunnels as do my rabbits and you'll see that later in the video. Please tell me about your favorite rabbit toys. What do your rabbits like to play with? I will also bring in paper towel rolls from the house and they love to play with those and branches and things like that. And I hope to make this a series of videos. So please like this video if this is the kind of content that you wanna see my rabbits playing and we can talk about mental wellness in our rabbits and You'll get to meet more of the crew too. So this is Archangel. He is by far my favorite rabbit. Don't tell the others. He's a blue eye white and he's one that I bred and just the sweetest boy. And I'm so excited to watch him play in this new area. Of course I had to bring my favorite rabbit in first, right? And in general, I will only let them play one at a time in these play areas. I've stopped bonding my rabbits um, or attempting to after six months of age because I keep running into problems. And it's more important to me that my rabbits are happy and safe than that it looks aesthetically pleasing with them in a group. They just, they don't like it. Of course, we have to make sure it's clipped before we walk away make sure your rabbit cannot get out but what's nice about a barn is even if he did get out i can close the barn door and have a second containment system in place 
When I had them outside in their X pens, sometimes they would get out, so I had a double fenced area. And even so, I was worried. I couldn't stand the thought of my precious Angora rabbit hopping into the neighbor's yard or something, because people have dogs, and this is just finally a way that I can let them out for extended periods of time walk away and know that they're going to be safe and they're going to be in there when I get back. And because I know you are going to be curious about how often I let my rabbits out, here is what I try to do. Now it's rain or shine and no matter the weather, so it's absolutely an incredible change to be able to say that I can let my rabbits out one in the morning for uh, the morning hours and then one for the evening hours. So they get around, you know, four hours of play time during that little stint. And it depends on how many rabbits I have at a time, how often they get let out. So currently I have 12 rabbits. That means they get let out every six days if all goes well. And you know, I try not to be rigid about these things. When I am rigid, it's really hard to stay consistent. So I just do the best that I can. And I think that's all of all that all of us are trying to do for our rabbits. I just want them to be happy and look at how happy Archangel is living his best life, marking everything. <laughs> and it's fun to watch them claim every toy in the area because they smell that other rabbits have been there it's just one more way that they can exercise their instincts and i am all for that in a safe way and on grooming days and days where i'm cleaning out the cages they might get let out for a half hour each or you know i i keep it flexible because these rabbits have to live with us you know (laughs) we have other things to do than be in the barn with them even though obviously i want to live my entire life in this barn with these rabbits but we just do the best that we can for them to keep them mentally occupied to give them the space to roam and also to give them mentally stimulating things to do when they're in their cage as well such as giving them chews and things like that I have put these tunnels in their cages before too, but they usually end up ruined. Archangel is such a good boy. And he was just sheared, as you can clearly see. So he is feeling his best hopping around here. But what I love about this versatile flooring is that it seems to work equally as well when the rabbit's coats get long. Sometimes I have to blow them out after a playtime session but it's not often. Please leave any more questions that you have about this setup in the comments below. And also let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I know I do a lot of heavily educational videos and those will continue, but this was a nice way to break it up and let you get to know Archangel too. If you haven't already, please smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my upcoming videos. Take care guys, bye.